that's that was at least the the circles that I was in when I was in Pristina. That was the feeling I got. I want to be a part of change, not just sit around and complain about. So I I sign up with um, this humanitarian group, and they select where you go. And so I was I was sent to the Balkans, to Albania, and Kosovo, and, I, and after that I just sort of fell in love with the region. And so as soon as I came home, I started looking for internship opportunities so that I could come back. And I was I was actually supposed to move back there in March for a job, but then COVID nineteen happened, so I kind of stuck. I just have gotten. I have so many friends there and just have such a strong connection with the region that I just, I love being there. I love the people. I love the culture. I, I just, I feel more at home in Kosovo than I do in parts of America. 2015 ish is when I first learned about it. And I passed by the uh, Dukagini bookstore and they have a bunch of the issues there on the racks and they just immediately grabbed my attention. It's great cover art. So pulled me right in. But I, I think if you want to understand Kosovo from from Kosovo, the magazines are a great point. Um, one of my favorites was the Migrimi, uh, the migration or refugee one. I was studying um, the Balkan Wars when I was in university. And um, so then to come to Kosovo and hear the stories, hear the experiences firsthand was, it makes it so much more real. And, um, and it helped me connect with my peers once I was there. Uh, to understand what they had been through. It was just the realization that at my age, I would have been five or six during during the war. And like, I talked to my friends that are my age in Pristina, and, and they remember family members disappearing. They remember members of their village disappearing. Like, to imagine what, what effect that would have on me at, at age five or six to... Um, how that shapes your worldview, like that is, that's always sat with me. Um, it helps me better understand both the optimism and the pessimism that you see so strongly in some people. Hope for me is, it's a belief that humanity can change and can be better. Um, but it also includes me taking an active role in making it better. So it's not, it's not just the belief, but it's also um, me taking action on that belief and on that hope for, for a better future.